government came into power with five manifesto promises. Now, one of those promises you you remember was 200 units of free electricity. Now, a Congress MLA has written to the Chief Minister. He's told the Chief Minister to roll back a hike in electricity tariff. You remember that a few days ago, the Karnataka government, or rather an organization associated with it, also made the announcement that there would be a hike in electricity tariff. Now, what the Congress MLA has said is that even though this was actually an order passed during the BJP's tenure, it will be seen as something that was introduced by the Congress. It will also be seen as something being used by the Congress government to compensate for the 200 units of free electricity that they'd made as one of their five promises. He's also argued it'll give a bad image to the party. Now, that's a quick recap of everything that's taken place so far. On your screens right now, we're playing out for you that letter from the Congress MLA. On the left side of your screens, you can, of course, see the Chief Minister of the State, Siddharamaya. Siddharamaya has made five different promises to the entire state. This was the widely touted Congress five promises. These were these were promises that the opposition has argued will cause a burden to the state exchequer and increase the amount of debt the state has. Let's go over to my colleague uh, Ritu right now to understand more. Ritu, this is, a, this is a complicated story. So I'm going to ask you to explain to our audiences with a timeline. Tell us what took place first. Did the Congress promise come first? Did the Karnataka Electricity Board first decide that there was a need for a hike? Why did that need for a hike come about? When did they make this announcement did the Congress government know this was going to happen? Can you tell us more? This is the first thing that we do on the Congress MLA and we say himself has raised an objection that he has objection to the Karnataka Chief Minister Sidharamaya asking him to go back the hike in the electricity tariff. Now, obviously, because the one that the Congress government in its five guarantees announced about the 200 units of free electricity supply for the uh, people of the Karnataka because of this particular issue now that is also seen some sort of a setback. So that's the reason he has written a letter to the uh, CM asking him to roll back. Now we do know that actually it was during the time of the BJP Kenya when this uh, 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 when the Karnataka Electricity Regulatory Commission board, in fact, decided to hike the supplies of the uh, electricity, but it came. Uh, they also did, you know, in their order, uh, say that it will be coming to an effect from April L1, and it would raise around um, the. Uh, more than two rupees is what uh, was said in the order, but later point as it comes into effect in the April month, and remember this is a crucial month again for the uh, Congress party where they were going on continuously calling for a cabinet meeting, deciding on their guarantees, implementations, and uh, uh, you know other plans about those whole five guarantees that how it has to be officially launched as well. Okay. Trying Ritu, to can I just that can I just check with you because I want to lay this out for our audiences very clearly. Is it correct to summarize that the Congress promise? was that all houses that have less than 200 units of electricity usage, they'll get a free supply of power. But this hike is only applicable to houses that are using more than 200 units. Is that accurate? See, one, this particular uh, order of the Karnataka Electricity Regulatory Body will be implemented across the Karnataka as it's the body officially who decides the power hike. Now, uh, in, uh, with that, you see those of them who actually use the power uh, less than 200 units of the power uh, uh, at their uh, residence. So they would anyway come under that scheme and they will be able to avail that benefit as well. But for all that, another issue is also for those of them who really would be going beyond uh, 200 units uh, of the inner power usage, for them it will be a problem. Also for most of it, you see, because the government is, however, going to calculate the average of the past one year, almost of 12 months that they have said it okay. for those who will be able to benefit in the scheme. So then, uh, somewhere it is also going to affect their uh, scheme as well. So that's just, the just stay with us. Uh, Sanket Yanagi from the Congress with us right now. Mr. Yanagi, thank you for joining us this afternoon on CNN News 18. Mr. Yanagi, it's easy to see what the Congress MLA is arguing. I, I think if I were to summarize for our audiences, what he is arguing with this letter is that people will effectively see that this amount is being taken from those who are suffering from the hike and being given to those who were supposed to get that Congress promise. That's his argument. How is the Congress going to settle this? So even though it is a decision of the Karnataka Electricity Regulatory Commission, the state government has a right to seek for modification or the revision of the order. So the party has already requested the chief minister 
in in the light of the fact that the people are suffering and our government has come to help the people or to bring the people out of the suffering and that being our sole intention we have requested the government and we have made it as a point that even the price hike which has been ordered by the Karnataka Electricity Regulatory Commission should be reviewed or revised and a request be made by the government in that regard Okay, Mr. Yenike, uh, can I, sorry, can I just check with you? We're sharing with our audiences that this was uh, a request put forward by the Congress MLA Tanvir Seth. You obviously sing the word we, which is why I want to ask you, are there more Congress MLAs in agreement with Seth? Would you say the entire party uh, below Sidharamaya is in agreement with him? The entire party is against the price hike hmm. by the KERC and the entire people who are suffering have been sailing with the government and the government is sailing with their pain government stand is very clear that the people should be brought out of the suffering and that is how we have given certain guarantees and our implementation and the government is not in a position now unless other than it makes a request before the proper authority to revise their uh, price hike so the proper procedure is to make a request for the revision or to reconsideration of the order of hike and that is there is a procedure contemplated under the act and which is being followed by the government but uh, sir and can i just uh, can i just ask you a question here if the karnataka electricity regulatory commission the kerc says no to this demand will it not be possible for the congress to scapegoat them and say that look they've said no but we asked there are multiple procedures let me point out legally number 1 we have to make a request for revision if they consider it well and good if they don't consider it we can challenge that order before the appropriate authority that is the high court that permissibility is that one provision apart from that if the high court also doesn't consider it the, there is a special power conferred to the court the, the, to the government which can deal with it by way of an ordinance or some other regulations which are special in nature so now we are hoping that the KERC would positively consider the request of the government and also looking at the people's agony and the pain and the suffering because of the price rise out of the result of the BJP's resign. The KERC would certainly consider the situation in, in, in the state and we are hopeful that a positive order be passed. Okay, yes. Mr. Yanagi, thank you for bringing us that context.